Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. iOS 15.4 has just recently been released and of course there are new settings and older settings that you need to change on your iPhone. Now another thing you need to do right now is subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed yet so make sure you do so before leaving this video. So as I said at the beginning in this video I will show you guys 17 settings that you must immediately change on your iOS 15.4 device. We're starting things off with a new setting that Apple has added to iOS 15.4 and that is custom email domain and you can change that domain by going to your profile at the top of your settings app. You go to iCloud and you go right here iCloud mail and from here if you have iCloud plus you will be able to actually use this feature. So this is limited only to iCloud plus users. You will have right here custom email domain and you can change the domain of your email directly from here. It even has a little description here so it says with iCloud plus subscription you can actually send and receive emails using a custom domain you can set it from here of course as long as you're subscribed to iCloud plus next up we're moving to one of the biggest new features of iOS 15.4 face ID with a mask. So this allows you to unlock your device even though you're wearing a mask without having to have an Apple Watch. Now this was the feature before on iOS but you had to have an Apple Watch in order for this to work. Now with iOS 15.4 you don't actually need that. Of course the downside to this is that it only works on newer devices iPhone 12 and newer so if you have an older device you won't actually have this option. Now you can enable this directly from here by going to the face ID and passcode settings you will have here another setting that will allow you to add glasses so if you use glasses you can go ahead and add them from here so you can see right here it says using face id while wearing mask works best when it's set up to recognize each pair of glasses you wear regularly so you can go ahead and set that up from here and you will be able to even use glasses and use a mask and still unlock your device so that's really really useful another setting you can change with ios 15.4 but you don't find this on the settings app you will have to go to the shortcuts app if you have automation set up on your device or you're creating a new automation you will have a new setting that you can change right here once you disable ask before running right here so it doesn't actually ask you before running at automation it will just run automatically as it should you will now have a new setting right here notify when run so basically this will let you choose whether you want to get a notification or not when the automation will run so in this case the way i have it set up right here it won't ask me before running and of course it won't even show me any notification at all it will just run in the background if you enable this it of course won't ask you when it will run but it will just send you a notification letting you know that the automation is currently running. Now you can do this for any new automation that you set up on iOS 15.4 or if you have older automations you can just go ahead and edit them and of course just tap right here and choose the options from the list down below. There are new settings for the app store as well but again not on the settings app on the app store app you go to app store and you go to your profile and right here now you will find a section for notifications here's where you can enable or disable notifications from the app store so you will have two different options you will have notifications for new features and updates i believe this is for apps even though it doesn't have any like explanation or description right here what this is for but i believe it's for new features from different apps and of course app updates and then you will have also an option here for recommendations recommendations and offers so if you want to just get recommendations from app store and offers from the app store you enable this and of course then you will receive notifications there are a bunch of new settings for the tv app as well so i will just just put them in one place here all of them so you go to tv right here you will have now device preferences right here now what you can do you can enable show sports scores and you will have also use play history you can enable both of them directly from here so if you just want to show the sports score and use the play history make sure you go ahead and enable these settings and of course you will have the up next display so for the up next display you can choose a still frame or a poster art now this is of course based on your preference whichever you want you can go ahead and change from here now another setting you need to change with iOS 15.4 
is on Safari. So if you go to Safari and you go all the way down here to advanced, you will have experimental features. So if you're one of those people that tries these features right here, enables or disables any of them, and of course you don't remember which one you did enable or disable because the list is quite long here, then with iOS 15.4, you will have this option right here that allows it to just quickly reset everything to its defaults. You tap right here, all the experimental features will be set at their default. Moving on to some older settings that I believe every iPhone user must change on their iOS 15.4 device. And if you have already, just make sure you check them and see if you have them configured the correct way. Now this is right here, seller data options. You go to settings, seller, seller data options, and you will have here limit IP address tracking. Now I can set this up for your seller and for your Wi-Fi as well. So under seller right here, you can enable it and it shows right here what it does. So it basically limit IP address tracking will hide your IP address from known trackers on mail and Safari. So this is very, very important for the security of your phone and your data. So make sure you have this enabled. And of course you have to do the same for Safari as well. So you go to Safari settings right here, scroll down and you will have hide IP address. And from here, you can set this to be hidden from the tracker. So basically it will do the same thing. So it doesn't matter where you're connected to your cellular or to your Wi-Fi, it will hide your IP from known trackers. And of course not allow them to track you on the sites and different stuff. So you can go ahead and just choose here from trackers and you're good to go. That's really, really important to do. And of course, another option that you have to enable right here under the settings of Safari is prevent cross-site tracking. This will prevent trackers and basically ads. You see ads and stuff like that. So you're on a website, you're searching for something, you go on different websites, you will see the same thing everywhere. So basically you're being tracked. You can go ahead and enable here, prevent cross-site tracking, and this will stop that from happening. So always make sure that you have prevent cross-site tracking enabled. Of course, very, very important is always to set up your legacy contact. Make sure you have that set up. You can go to your settings, go to your Apple ID at the top, go to password and security. You will have legacy contact right here. What you can do is just tap the plus button here and you will be able to actually choose from any of your contacts and add them as your legacy contact. That's just really important. This is a newer setting that Apple has introduced with iOS 15 and it will basically let someone have access to your data and your phone, of course, if and in case you pass away, you will be able to actually leave all of your data to someone you trust, of course, someone from your family or someone close to you. You can do that simply by adding their contact from here. Under the mail settings, there is, of course, a setting here that you should check out. It is called privacy protection. You go here and, of course, make sure you have enabled mail privacy protection right here. So what it does, it will basically hide your IP address and it will actually load remote content privately in the background, even when you don't open the message. This means that it will be way, way harder for the senders to follow your mail activity. This is really, really important, especially if you use the mail a lot, you use the stock mail app of iOS. And of course you have work and some things like that. You have to send and receive a lot of emails. You will probably have a lot of subscriptions as well so make sure you have this setting enabled. A newer setting that Apple has introduced with iOS 15 is the ability to disable call with five presses. Now I don't know how many times I've made a call of course, an SOS call just accidentally, maybe just holding my phone or just picking it up out of my pocket or something like that. That's really, really annoying. So if you find yourself doing that mistake a lot, you can go ahead and disable that feature from here. Now, of course, you still will be able to make the emergency call by holding the side button and of course the volume up button at the same time. So of course you still have that feature, but it won't be as annoying as enabling call with five presses. And of course, a really important thing to do is set up your emergency contact. Make sure you have that set up. It is really, really important. You never know when you need it. Go to your settings again, right here under emergency and SOS tap right here on edit or you just tap add if you haven't already added it. And from here, you can go ahead and edit this 
and you will be able to actually also just change this and add maybe another contact so right here we'll have all your information and then you will have your emergency contact right here you can go ahead and add another one or remove the current one and of course if you want to change it and then right here you have this emergency access show when locked make sure you also have this enabled because it will allow your information to be shown on the lock screen in case of an emergency so that will be really important as well moving on to the privacy section this is really important and i believe every iphone user must check these time after time and see whether they find there an app that has access to their stuff and you don't want to so make sure you always check these you will have your photos your bluetooth local network camera microphone files and folders so apps might have access to any of these and might even basically have access to something you don't want them to what you can do is of course just go ahead and check these out it will show you a list here of all the apps that have access in this case to bluetooth or in another case here maybe to photos you can see here all the apps that have access to my photos i can go ahead and change that right here so add only none right there if i want to or if i go to another app here i can change these any way i like so this is something really really important that you should check time after time and see if you find maybe an app that you don't want to have access to any of your stuff next we're moving to the focus settings now what i suggest you do right here is use share cross devices now what this will do is basically when you have set up focus mode on one of your devices maybe do not disturb or something like that you will have the same on all of your devices because let's say you have maybe an iphone an ipad an apple watch or anything you will actually turn on do not disturb on this device but it won't turn on on the other device if you don't have this enabled so make sure you have this enabled that will make it work much much easier for you don't have to bother with turning it on on all of your devices and that of course is really important now another thing that's really important is to set a schedule or an automation for your focus modes so if you have a focus mode that you use at a certain time of the day you don't have to bother with it turning it on or off you can do that automatically all you have to do is just make sure you have that enabled by going here tap on add new automation you can choose time location or app or you can choose of course smart activation as well but we're going to go with time in this case so if i go to time right here i can choose the days of the week when i want this to be turned on and then of course choose the time from which time to what time click on done and this will actually be turned on automatically i don't have to bother with it you can see right there it turns on and it will give you basically that little pop-up right there at the top which looks really really cool that way you have it turned on automatically without you having to bother with it so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one